So in the last part, we have seen how to use array. Now what we'll do is instead of assigning these values 2, 6, 8, 4, 1, let me assign these values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, I missed 3. So it's 3, 4, 5. Now in order to print, uh, in order to save this value, so we'll say it should be a of 1, it should be a, this is uh, 2, 3, and four, it was 4, and the value of the last element will be 5. Now to store these values, we don't have to assign it different uh, differently. What we can do is, we can use a for loop to assign those values, and we can run this for loop again with uh, the variable i, it will start with 0, and then we'll say less than uh, 5 and i++. plus plus. Now this for loop will run five times, right? So what we need to do, we need to assign the value to array. So we'll say a of i equal to what now? If I say a of i is equal to i, it will store the values from zero to four. What I want, it should be from one to five. So what we can simply do is we can say i plus one. So this is how we can assign the values and then this is how we can print the values. If I run this code now, so the output is, it's one, two, three, four, five. Simple. Now, so this is uh, so this is one way of printing array, right? So we have uh, we can use this this for loop. Now, since uh, we are printing these values from the first element to the last element, but how would I know the length of array? See this, I am writing five here, right? Is because I know the value now. But what if I don't know the size of the array? So what we can simply do is we can use a property of uh, array which is called as length. So if you say a dot length, it will go to the last element, which is 5. So it will say i less than or equal to 5. So this is the property of array. Now, so uh, so let's print this in a different way. Now this is called as normal for loop, right? So if you have, if you know, I have one of my video on something called as enhanced for loop. So what is enhanced for loop? Instead of using a normal for loop where you have to specify the starting point and the ending point, why we should do this? What if uh, take, an, uh, take an array, pick up the first element, go to the last element, I don't know what the number of values I have, just go to the array and fetch. So what we can do is, instead of writing i int i equal to 0, what we can simply do is we can say int i, pick up all the values from array a. So what it will do, it will go to a, it will fetch the first element and it will print. So instead of a of i, i. So it will go to a, it will fetch the first element and print the value. Again, loop will increment, it will fetch the second value and print. It will fetch the third value and print. So if, if, if you don't know what is enhanced for loop, you can jump to my one of my video called as enhanced for loop in Java. In that, you will you will understand what is enhanced for loop. So if I run this code now, so these are the values. Clear? So you can use normal for loop or you can use enhanced for loop. Now the only drawback here is you need to you need to start from the first and to, you have to go to the last. But if you're using a for loop, you can specify the starting range and ending point. Clear? So yeah, so this is this is what this is how we can uh, fetch values and print values.